Hello, everyone. James here. Welcome to another episode of ChatGPT Plugin Review. So today, as usual, let's start by taking a look at the all plugin numbers. We've got a historically high page numbers here, which is twelve pages, and eleven times a is eighty a, and we add another three, which makes it to the record high number ninety one. A total number of ninety one plugins, very close to a hundred. That's very good. Open AI, and coming next, let's test out our next plugin, SS Link. Access any links on the web and get the information you need. Cool. Let's install. Okay. Tell me, how should I use this? Plugin, and what can it do? Let's do that. The SS Link plugin is a tool that allows me to fetch the and parse the text content from a specific URL provided by you. Okay, so to use it, we have to provide a specific URL instead of asking it about a specific website. So we have to prepare a URL first, and it looks like there is only one function called SS Link Parse URL Get here, and it's very simple and straightforward. And then it provides a summary of the web page, and answers specific questions about content and discuss the information in more detail. So let's do that. I have here. Um, a yahoo.com front page prepared, so let's try it out. It should be smart enough to recognize this website and automatically get us the plugin. Cool, a URL is provided. This is the only parameter that it needs. The Yahoo homepage, correctly recognized, and the news is returned. Let's check it out. A discussion about body image concerns the return of warmer weather, and an anecdote about Caddy Davis recounting blah blah blah. A report about a designer, a mention of early two thousands fashion trends. These are the four items it summarized. Let's see. What do we have here? It doesn't look like I can pick the return items up from what I've been seeing here. And it's got obviously less. Items that I can see from this page. Um, I wonder why. Please note that the content of Yahoo's homepage is dynamically changing, and the news and articles are added. If you have specific questions about topics and want to know more about a specific article, feel free to ask. Um, doesn't look like it's doing so good here. Um. Shall we try another website, The Verge? Let's try this one. There should be less information, so we can better verify the result returned from ChatGPT plugin. Let's see. As usual, the URL is provided, and then it, we've got our feedback returned. The Verge's homepage, which is technology news site, correct. Wall Street Journal has identified at least six point eight million vehicles as potential dangerous airbag. Um, only one piece of news is returned. 
airbags and vehicles. Let's check it out. I'm not sure I'm seeing the exact same thing here. Where does it talk about airbags and vehicles? Um, let's ask a more specific question. What news do you see on the Verge home page? List um, the first ten you saw. Let's do that. Oh, okay. It's visiting that site again. I thought it's here already in its memory. I apologize for the confusion, but it seems like there's no there was an issue fetching medical news headlines from the Verge's homepage. The information I received only pertains the single news story about potential safety issue of its airbags in certain vehicles. I'm not sure it's true um no it doesn't seem like it's working neither for yahoo.com uh no for the verge.com so i guess there are some improvements to be made um right ss leak definitely need some revision there coming to next yay film forms allows you to create AI power forms, surveys, quizzes, and uh, questionnaires on Yay Forms. Let's install. And again, introduce the plugin. I think this one is a production tool to help with the efficiency to design a survey and then design the questions and then help you to maybe analyze the data even. But there's only one function here. We are seeing forms, forms, post. This function allows you to create a new form, a survey, quiz, or questionnaire. You provide a subject of the form and the function will return a URL. This URL can be used to import a form into your Yay Forms account. Okay, let's try now. Very useful to gather information, conducting research, or create interactive content from for your audience. Yeah, this one looks very much like the Yaybo plugin that we tried last time, right? Um, let's ask the same question as last time then. Um, I want to know about the uh, frequency of people changing into a new smart for these days. Let's see what are the good ideas it's going to provide. Smartphone update frequency. Upgrade frequency. So appyaforms.com. Great. I've created a form titled Smartphone Upgrade Frequency. You can use this form to gather data about how often people change their smartphones. Okay. You can access and customize the form using the following link. Please know that you need to add relevant questions to the form, such as how often do you change your smartphone or what factors influence your decision and to change your smartphone. Ah, I see. Okay. I think it's just a convenient way to create this form um, for you to do your survey, but it does not provide any... Oh, let's see. I need to sign in, I guess. 
Um, I have to sign up first. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. I should have added a character, a special character here. Let's see. Smartphone upgrade frequency imported. Okay, great. This is our workspace. And yep, I think it fulfills a simple request to create a form with just the title added. Oh, um, yeah, I guess it's doing more than we expected here. We actually have quite some questions prepared here already. Welcome to the smartphone upgrade survey, a frequency survey. And you can say start the survey here. Um, it's already created for this form. And we have actually some questions here prepared already. What is your current smartphone OS? And um, coming next, how often do you upgrade your smartphone? And multiple choices are provided. How much do you usually spend on a new smartphone? And what is the most important factor when upgrading your smartphone? Very cool, very considerate, very thorough, comprehensive survey question design. This is good. Okay, so this one definitely improves the efficiency. So here we can see you can edit, integrate and share and look at the results and analyze the results, I believe. So indeed very helpful. So um. Let's see if we can edit this form here. Um, I want a shorter list of questions. Can you make it to five? Can we edit it here? Let's take a look. So it doesn't seem like it will provide you with the analysis functionality here. But it's good enough that we can create a form with all those questions designed and populated. So we can actually make the list to five, but I believe it's GPT-4 that is doing this job. I'm not sure if it can be updated to that form in the Yay Forms website. Can you update the new list to um, the form design and create it? before on yay form let's see sorry for the confusion mm -hmm. form forms post yeah It seems like it's not able to do that. Um, maybe the best way is to just create a new one. Um, but anyway, it's good enough. It definitely helps the efficiency to create and uh, design a form and then share it with that simple and easy, uh, easily accessible platform. Um, very cool. Could be very helpful to some people, I believe. This one is really helpful, I have to say. Let's come to the next one. 
ask your PDF. Unlock the power of your PDFs, dive into your documents, find answers, and bring information to your fingertips. Let's install it and then good. Um a PDF, since there's no way to upload anything here, I guess the URL link is the only way we can provide it uh, with a PDF. So I actually have a Matter platforms, which is previously Facebook. Uh, they are Anin score from 2023 Q1. Let's do this. Um, summer rice this let's see what the plugin is capable to do okay the URL is doing a parameter that matters that's quick and we've got plenty of information returned. Here is a summary of the Meta Platform's Q1 2023 earnings score transcript. Very cool. Community growth, 3 billion people, use at least one of Meta's app each day. Okay, it got stuck. Got stuck. I'm don't know. I don't know why. Um, GPT four. Page one. Three billion people. Let's take a look whether it is true. Let's go back to here. Three billion. Three billion. Yet yeah, more than three billion people use at least one of our apps each day. Correct. It's on the first page. It's the correct information. What should we do here? Um, it's taking too long to respond. Let's click uh, stop generating. Summarize again. Something went wrong. Please try reloading the conversation. Okay, I guess. Mm. Mm. Let's start a new conversation then. Actually, it's the first time I'm running into this. I think it's more on the GPT-4 instead of the plugin. I'm not sure if it's the iOS app that when OpenAI just launch, that uh, attracts too many traffic to GPT-4. So it breaks. Uh, could be that. Okay, it's good. We can see the consistency of the second generation of the message returned. Cool. Basically the same thing. AI investment. Yeah, that's true. Meta is turning a bit of its focus to AI, shifting more to AI from Metaverse, as people were saying on-site conversions yes revenue outlook okay 29.5 to 32 billion page 7 that's a good number for us to check page 7 are we seeing anything here yes the correct number and I have to say it's a good summary because it covers these key messages from different pages. 
yes and let's ask some more specific questions mm. did Zuckerberg um, say that he is shifting more to what's uh, AI um, then meta worse let's see okay ah so the first time it passed the URL to the API and a document ID was created and there is no error as we can see here so once the document ID is created when do you want to check things in the document again um, it feeds document ID into that plugin and together with the query so it it does not need to uh, go to that URL and read the whole PDF again it's already um, stored in its some kind of memory there so it will be easier for the next retrieval okay I did not indicate a shift towards AI yeah correct AI focus yeah highlighted the significant role of AI improving their products and business yes recommendations okay network error Oh, definitely something happening to GPT-4 today. Metaverse commitment. Yes, they're still doing Metaverse. And AI and Metaverse are going to be integrated. And um, organization efficiency is vital. I'm not sure. Oh, including AI today and the Metaverse long term. For this high leverage opportunities. Yes, yes. This one is more of a general description of the whole company and um, yeah, it definitely um, leaves you room to focus on some high uh, value targets but it's not directly related to AI and metaverse. But here I think it's well said, although the meta is focusing more on AI, well, it may not um, use the phrase that... Um, it's shifting more towards AI in their uh, NAS core. Um, they're going to focus on both, yeah, which is making sense, definitely. And I guess this shows us the uh, depth that the plugin can go into and the capability of doing a summarization. Um, it's very accurate and it looks uh, at all this different pages and pick out the important segments so could be very helpful and we might as well go to the next one tic-tac-toe okay i'm not gonna read the description let's start the game Sure, let's play tic-tac-toe. Before we start, could you please specify the size of the ball? We'd like to play on 3x3 three three or the others and the difficulty level. Okay, I'm gonna go with the easiest one because this is a demonstration. 3x3 um, three three level. level 1. It's coming for size, difficulty, the two parameters. Yes. A board is created. Now is my turn. You are oh 
Please pick a number from one to nine for your move. I don't get to start first. Okay, never mind. Four. Come on. Next up will be five. One. Okay. Uh, it's level one, I guess. If we pick five, it's gonna win. Um, yeah. Then nobody's winning, I guess, this time. Well, for a three times three size board. At the level 1 difficulty, it seems like it's taking a bit too long to think. Maybe it's just taking too long to communicate. Um, yeah, nobody's winning this time. Now it's your turn. Yeah, I guess we can all see nobody's winning this time. Yep, I should have placed it to 5 first. I guess that gives me more chance to win. But anyway, yep. That's it, a very simple game for Tic-Tac-Toe. Um, yeah, a text-based game, just like the other games. Um, just like the other game types, I have to say it, for all the ChatGPT plugins. Yes, it's definitely a game that you can play with plain text or some ASIC art. Cool. Um, coming next, we have There is an AI for that I believe there is such a website that tells you uh, all the different AIs that you can use for different tasks. Find the right AI tools for any use case from the world's largest database of AI tools. This one could be very helpful and the ChatGPT plugin store is definitely a very ideal place for it to be in. Yes. Um, Let's start with how many plugins are there in your database? I'm asking the plugin. Come on. So it says there is an AI for that plugin does not provide information about a number of plugins in this database. But if you have a specific use case in mind, it can help me with uh, finding a AI tool to use this plugin. What are some useful um, investment related plugins? Okay, it is triggered pretty fast. Quite a few. Potato Trade, Sun App. We've got name, we've got task, we've got URL, we've got use case. Okay. Let's see, quite a few. It's either a semantic, um, semantic database that matches our query with the use case here, I think. Or maybe it is 
a database that is uh, categorized by sp specific themes and then there are specific themes you can choose to set as the filters and maybe ChatGB will be smart enough to create that phrase to plug in here um, as the request according to the description provided to the model um, written by the developers. Could be either way. So we've got 10 items returned. Um, all this looks like valid investment related plugins and portfolio pilots. I remember that. What else? The other ones are new to me. And we have links as well. I believe it leads us to that there is an AI for that website. Correct. Here we are. Yes, yes. You can see the further description here and some related items. Yes. Cool. It works. What about uh, travel related? Let's try another one. Did it say travel? It is. Yes. I think there might be actually more than 10. But maybe 10 is just a default number returned. Okay, I guess this one works. And you have uh, associate pictures re returned. But we've got only six here, which is quite strange because we have 10 up here. Yeah, trip planner, get AI way, GPT travel advisor. Oh, yes, we have um, the links here, but we can also click into these links. So we actually can access all these 10 items returned. And we have 10 items returned here as well. So it seems like 10 is the default number. Okay, mm, cool. Can I have more on travel plugins? Oh no, travel AIs. Oh, actually, I realized I should have asked like that, right? In investment related plugin, I should not have asked um, plugin. I should ask, I should have asked about AI, right? Because it's, there's an AI for that. It's not necessarily a plugin. So, yes, indeed, you can have more AIs for travel. For your travel request. Good. It's definitely more than 10. So it's a good database. If you want to use AI to do anything, it would be a good place to start. Um, so I guess that's all of today. And for today, what do we have? So first off, we have a... Okay, yeah. We have access link which works with an URL. You have to provide a URL and it's gonna to access the link and then provide you with some feedback regarding the content provided in that link. But today it failed. I think we were not able to retrieve uh, the information we saw from the link in the browser. So I'm not sure if they are gonna update it and fix all those bugs to make it work. But at least today it didn't work. And then we have Yay Forms. In Yay Forms, you can create a form uh, on the Yay Forms website uh, with a specific ID. And then questions were designed and their form was created and you can share it and then collect it. It's a good way to uh, do a survey. It will be really convenient um, for people who want to really carry out a survey. So I guess this one is really useful. And then Next, we have Ask PDF. Now it's in unverified um, status. So I guess they are pulling it off 
the uh, plugin store and then maybe they try to fix some bugs or maybe add some uh, further functionalities there but ask pdf as we tested it with the latest meta uh, earnings call transcript it it did work so it can summarize all the points talked in the transcript and then it can perform some further understanding into all the content of the earnings call uh, so that it can answer some follow-up questions which are uh, which can be complicated and uh, deep um, it did a great job in answering um, Zuckerberg's attitude towards AI and metaverse so I guess that works and that will be a good tool to uh, summarize a long PDF that you don't have enough time to read this one could be a useful tool and then a tic-tac-toe um, maybe it's the simplest game I can think of a test-based uh, game that you can play with ChatGPT and I think it does not need a plugin to run actually and maybe you just ask the plan chat GPT to play a tic-tac-toe game for you it it works I think it will work um, so that's it for this one and then finally we have uh, there is an AI for that which is essentially a database that records the AIs for uh, different kinds of use cases and you can uh, ask for an AI related to a specific uh, category of tasks. So, for example, you if you want to have an investment AI or if you want to have a travel AI, you can always find the corresponding AI for that. Okay, that's it for today.